As part of the Every Election Project, I'm looking at elections throughout Canada's history. And today I'm going back 34 years to the New Brunswick Provincial Election held on October 13, 1987. The Progressive Conservatives under Richard Hatfield had by then been in power for 17 years. Those last years in office proved to be difficult ones as Hatfield faced a contentious and divisive leadership review. Hatfield had brought the PCs to power by going after the Acadian Francophone vote, thereby undermining the Liberal support that they had in the region. But by 1987, there was significant dissatisfaction among Anglophone Conservatives in southern New Brunswick who felt that Hatfield was pandering to the French. He also was facing some personal scandals in those last years in office. Party's popularity plunging, Hatfield delayed until the very last few days of his legal mandate before calling the election, and the election he called was actually the longest that was allowed to be called. He wanted to stay in as long as he could. Liberals were now under the leadership of Frank McKenna. The party had had a series of leaders since Louis Robichaud's defeat in 1970, but McKenna was able to appeal to the Liberals' traditional Francophone base as well as to disaffected Conservatives in the South. With the government now in power for so long, riven by internal party disputes, and with Hatfield's own popularity plunging, it looked like the PCs were on track for a bit of a bad election. And they were. The Liberals won 60% of the vote and all 58 seats in New Brunswick, one of only two complete landslides in Canadian history. With a Liberal gain of about 19 points, all at the expense of the PCs, Hatfield's party was shut out, losing all 39 seats they had won in the 1982 election. The NDP, with 11% of the vote, was also shut out. Like every other PC candidate, Hatfield lost his seat and he resigned the leadership. What happened was that the Liberals then faced a legislature without an opposition, which was a little bit of a farce, but eventually opposition party leaders were invited to question the government from the bar of the legislature floor. The divisions within the PC party would eventually explode and result in the creation of the Anti-Bilingualism Confederation of Regions Party, it would form the official opposition in 1991. Frank McKenna, after being re-elected in 1991 and in 1995, would resign in 1997 after a decade in office. The PCs, however, would return to power under Bernard Lord in 1999. And that's it for this installment of the Every Election Project. If you like this, you want to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe to the channel and like it, comment, share, and I'll see you next time.